welcome to GC engineering and technical drawing today we'll be drawing a smooth plane handle using the principle of tangent C so the first thing we'll do we'll draw a straight line horizontal line then we'll pick a point of our choice and then we'll call the point point A pick a point of our choice call this point A now from our diagram from this point given to us as this point now is point A so the point here called point B is 70 millimeter so we'll measure 70 millimeter with our rule we'll take 70 millimeter and then we we'll indicate to the point then we'll project that point with a construction line upward The construction line upward and call that point point B giving to us now that this is our point B and this is our point A so I project my point A also up vertically with the construction line after doing that we can see from point A to point B 70 millimeter will outline Outline that portion. Now we've gotten the base. So if from our diagram, you can see another horizontal line with the say 73 millimeter. So we measure 73 millimeter with our rule. After measuring that, we indicate it with the center line. We indicate with the center line. Giving to us that this from point B, so let me call this line point C, is giving to us a 73 millimeter. Now from our diagram, there's a distance here to a point of, uh, to line C. You can see this line C and this is line C. So 32 millimeter to give me what the circumference of to give me where the line touches the circumference of this circle here so measure 32 millimeter on line c 32 millimeter on line c then i indicate it is a construction line project that point with the construction line just a little Then from points, from this point here, let me call this point A2. Now from point A2, open a compass to radius 13. Succeeded in taking radius 13 with our compass. So place it at point A2 and I will mark, give it the point on line C towards our left. So using that point now, as a midpoint we call that point x over here so calling this point here point x so we'll place 13 our radius 13 millimeter on point x and then we'll draw a semicircle on that portion so we succeeded in getting this curve. You can see it here. Now I want to get this curve. Now when cycle touch each other externally, one of the principle of tangency, we add. So add 89 millimeter radius plus 13 millimeter radius, which will give us 102 millimeter. So from our rule, we'll just pick up 102 millimeter from our rule. And then we'll place it at point X. And then we'll scribe an arc. Also, we'll pick 89 millimeter radius. Pick 89 millimeter radius. Place our pin at point A. Then we'll bisect the arc. Then using the point of their intersection, 
using its 9 millimeter radius at the point of the intersection we draw an arc touching point A and then the circumference of our circle once it hits the circumference we just stop then we can erase this portion a little giving us this curve which is this and next from our diagram you can see the total distance from line B to the top is given to us as 102 millimeters so what we need to do we just measure using point B upward we we'll take 102 millimeter and then we indicate with the straight line to so my left let it be on a construction line so now from this line here we'll call this D line D going through and then from our diagram this is our line D now from our diagram so we should measure 16 millimeter and then we should indicate it with a point take 16 millimeter and then we should indicate with the point so we succeeded in measuring a 16 millimeter which is this so indicated to the points just a small mark we're done with that so we can call that point now points let me call this point zero now from point zero we'll add 13 millimeter to get this arc to touch point zero so add 13 millimeter, uh, millimeter radius with 19 millimeter radius that will give me 32 millimeter radius now with our compass we're taking 32 millimeter so you just place it at point x which is this and then we'll scribe an arc and then we we'll open our compass to radius 19 millimeter then we'll place it at point 0 19 millimeter radius now we'll bisect the arc. Now using the point of the intersection with thin radius 19, place it at the point of the intersection and then we'll draw an arc touching the circumference of the small cycle. See it's touching also point zero. Then we we'll erase this portion a little. giving us this curve to this point now from our diagram find out that from point B to this point over here you can see this line coming from point B which is this to this point is giving to us a 73 millimeter so we'll measure 73 millimeter which is this which we've done we've measure 73 millimeter so all we need to do open 114 millimeter as radius now taking 114 millimeter as radius which is this to this point let me call this is point zero that will call this point point zero one which is this point zero one this point here is point zero so now using points zero one we'll bisect we'll construct an arc strike an arc of 114 millimeter with a radius place it also at point zero which is this then we we'll bisect the arc I think this should be longer this way place it at point zero and then we we'll bisect the arc you can see that they intersect with to this point here so using the point of the intersection we'll draw an arc still on Using our radius 114 millimeter, we'll draw an arc. And then we we'll succeeded in getting this portion of our diagram. And the next thing we'll do is that 
from our diagram here from point A towards my right hand side is given to us as 44 millimeter. So we'll measure 44 millimeter and then we indicate it with the point 44 millimeter. Then we indicate it with the point and then we'll project that point the construction line upward. So we've gotten this portion. Now I want to get this point here. See the total height from point from line A from line B vertically is given to us as 29 millimeter. So we'll just come from this point here. You can see it's also coming like this. So all what you need to do is that we we'll measure 29 millimeter from our line. So we'll pick 29 millimeter radius. So we've succeeded in picking 29 millimeter, which is this. So indicate with the center line. You can see that. So now we are looking for this point. We just say our radius is what a uh, radius 19 millimeter. So we'll pick radius 19 millimeter with a compass. Then we we'll place. 19 millimeter from the point of this intersection towards my right that would mark give it an arc a small arc I'll call that point there point E now using point E as the midpoint of this radius which is this point here point E let's project point E downward so we can project point E The center line downward which is this line here so now using point E as the midpoint of this radius here of this semicycle then we'll draw a semicycle which is this we succeeded in getting this portion here so the next thing we'll do is switch open to radius 10 10 millimeter so we succeeded in picking our radius 10 millimeter with a compass so place it at the point of E where it touches line AB first line AB here and then we'll draw an arc touching the vertical line of line B then the next thing will outline this portion here which is this so we've gotten that so the next thing we'll do now we're looking for this arc touching point zero one and let me call this point here point zero two touching point zero one and the circumference of this circle and second phase of this circle so all what you need to do add 76 millimeter radius with 19 millimeter radius which will give us 95 millimeters radius so we we'll place our pin at point e you can see point e right then we'll scribe an arc and then We'll pick 76 millimeter radius then we'll place our point at point zero then we'll bisect the arc now using the point of the intersection here we'll open our radius to radius 76 which is this then we'll place it at the point of the intersection placing it at the point of the intersection then we'll draw our arc Touching the circumference of the circle and then touching points 0, 1, which is this. So, we succeeded in drawing our image. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel.